Well, good morning everyone. Hope you're doing good and having a great week. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to this channel. So today I'll be doing an update to my Silver Bullion collection. Specifically, it's for this album over here. For those of you who have been following my channel, you know that I use this album to keep most of my Silver Bullion coins, which I have placed into these square quadrum capsules. All the sheets here contains uh, coins kept in the square capsules with the exception of this one which has coins from the Royal Australian Mint. And as you can see, all these coins here are still in their original round capsules which came from the Mint. The reason why I kept these coins in this sheet is because the capsules here don't fit in the airtight tubes that I currently have. While these sheets have been uh, perfectly adequate for my collection needs, uh, they're not uh, ideal most of the coins here I have in a series of trees and I would like to display them in a more systematic manner. As such, I managed to toss a couple of these sheets over here. These are meant for round coin capsules and they are from Happy Federalic Agency, a coin store located here in Singapore. Uh, these are made in China. They are relatively cheap. I believe I paid around $2 to $3 for each of them. And for this video, I'm going to transfer all these coins here into these sheets. This will also be an opportune time for me to do a quick review on these beautiful coins from the Royal Australian Mint. These are from their Coat of Arms series and so far, 3 different coins have been issued. Now I have not yet reviewed these coins on video. So for this video, we're gonna not only move the coins into the album sheets, but I'll do a quick review about each of these coins as we move along with that. But before we get into this, do leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content and don't forget to share and subscribe. So. Let's get into it. So the first coins to be going into these new sheets are these Mobaroos coins from 2019 and these three coins here have the Malayan Privy. Next we have these three Mobaroos coins also from 2019 but these three coins have the Panda Privy. Finally, we have the last three Bob of Bruce coins, again from 2019, and these coins here have the Willis Tower Privy. Just one more row left for this sheet over here, and that would be the perfect place for these Warata Flowers Silver Bullion coins, again from the Royal Australian Mint, and this is from their Wildflowers of Australia series, which was started last year in 2022. Alright, with that done, let's just close it up. And here's how the new sheet is gonna look like. Let's move on now with the second sheet. And for the top row here, I'm gonna put in my three coins here from the Pirate Queen series. And this is the Mary Reed. Next, we have these three coins here, again from the Pirate Queen series, and these are the Jing Xie. Finally, we come now to the beautiful Coat of Arms series, started by the Royal Australian Mint in 2021. So far, three coins have been issued. And before I put them into this sheet over here, let's just quickly go through its design and specifications. These coat of arm coins are emitted in 39 fine silver. They have a weight of 31.1035 grams, a diameter of 40 mm, and a thickness of approximately 3 mm with a fully readed edge. All the coins are issued in a capsule, and for each year, there's a limited mintage of just 50,000 coins. Let's start with the first coin from 2021. Right here on the opposite, we can see an image of an emu. And just over here, we have the sixth portrait of the queen by Jody Clark. And you can see the date of the coin just over here, 2021. And just below that, we have the composition of the metal, one ounce, three nice fine silver. Right here on the reverse, we can see this image of a beautiful kangaroo facing to the right. Over here, we can see a star and the face value of $1 is right here on the right. Uh, just below that, we can see the word Australia, which is the name of this coin. Alright, uh, with the design of this first coin out of the way, let's just add it to this tray right over here. 
Let's move on now to the second coin of the Coat of Arms series. This coin was released in 2022, as you can see over here. Again, we can see the sixth portrait of the Queen by Jodie Clark. And right above, we can see an image of a lion with a background of a cross and some Warata flowers. Uh, just over here, we have the words uh, newly risen. How brightly you shine. And right here on the left, we have the composition of the metal. One ounce, three nice fine silver. Here on the reverse, again, we have the image of a kangaroo. This time it's facing to the left. It's surrounded by some warata flowers and some plants. And just over here, we have the face value of $1 with the words New South Wales below, which is the name of this coin. Okay, with this done, let's just add it to the tray. We come now to the third and the latest issue of the Coat of Arms series. And in my opinion, this is probably the most beautiful coin of the series. Right here on the obverse, we can see a red deer, which is part of the Coat of Arms of Queensland. And right over here, we can see a Maltese cross. And just over here, we have the Memorial Effigy of the Queen, again by Jody Clark. And down here, we have these words in Latin, which reads Odex et Fidelis which uh, translate to bold but faithful. The composition of the metal is just over here, one ounce, three nice fine silver. Right here on the reverse, we can see this beautiful image of a broga, which is an Australian bird. The bird is facing to the left, and just over here, we can see a ram. And in the background, we can see a representation of sugarcane and wheat. And just over here, we can see the face value of $1, with a shovel and a pig sack right below. And just below the bird, we can see this word Queensland, which is the name of this coin. Okay, with that all done, let's add it to the tray. All right, uh, with the reorganization all done, this is how the new sheets look like in the album. I guess uh, looking at it uh, right now, it's not the best solution. The sheet itself, the size of the holder for the capsules, is actually much larger than the coins that I'm currently using. So unfortunately, these sheets can only hold 12 coins in one page. This was actually the only size that Happy Philatelic Agency had available for sale. So I guess this will have to do for now. Let me know what you all think, whether these sheets actually work well with these coins from the Royal Australian Mint, or should I have just have left all these coins in the previous sheets that we're using for the quadrum square capsules. Again, uh, these uh, new sheets over here only hold 12 coins, while these sheets hold 20. And with that, I guess that will do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed watching me get my silver coins reorganized in this album again, as well as the quick review of the latest Coat of Arms series of coins by the Royal Australian Mint. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content and be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. As always from everybody over here, you know, please take care, be safe and have a nice day.